Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to more of your daily dose of Warcraft with another high level match between Happy and Lin here at Autumn Leaves 2.0 1v1 Orc versus Undead Happy here taking the ghouls opening with a DK no Ted Fiends build for him Lin on the other hand starting with a Blade Master Happy scouting with the Acolyte Lin's already taken on this Creep camp with the Blade Master, Claws of Attack plus 5. Happy clearing out the Goblin Merchant. And this game has been placed, played after Happy comes of a loss at Show Cup 80 from 1 to 0, losing 4 to 3 day, best out of 7. Meanwhile, Lin with a phenomenal performance at Warcraft Survival Battle. Season 1, I believe that was 2023, South Korean tournament. And he barely lost a map in the whole... I, I believe he dropped two or three maps throughout the entire tournament. He dropped them up to Soin and focus in round 1, I believe. Um, possibly dropped them up to Chemikoi in round 2. And everything else, Lin has literally been... Blowing people out of the water, including Moon on the grand final. In best out of five, he beat him pre nil. Complete domina domination. And I've said recently, Lin looks really, 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 really good, especially against Moon. In the last. I believe in the last seven matches, Lin has won. Six, Moon has won one, and the one that Moon has won as well was very, very, very close. Um, but yeah, I'm afraid that's the current state of the players. And Lin is actually one of the few players left. They are real threat to Happy's throne. They are real competition. They continuously win against Happy, causing him problems. Uh, one to zero has been the other one, of course. And then you have other players like I'll put Low Lion Fortitude of uh, sort of like lower bracket compared to Lin and um, One to Zero. But every time they face Happy as well, they will make his life difficult. Uh, they will win maps against him uh, on the ladder. They will beat him multiple times. Um, but they're like a level below. Not quite there yet. But Linen 1 to 0, definitely very serious threat to Happy. And let's see how Happy is gonna lick his wounds. He's going into tier 2, of course, as well. Graveyard's almost done. Lin is not wasting time straight to tier 3. There's the beast tree there. And the Shadow Hunter second. Lin uh, Happy is chasing Lin's grunts. Level 3. Okay, so he's solo creeping with the ghouls. Lin continues to creep with the Blade Master and a single grunt. Double Claws of Attack and a Circlet. Happy took a Grunt. Did he kill actually both of those Grunts? No, only one. The other one is safe at the base. War Mew is coming. There's the Shadow Hunter buying heal cells. And now the DK, Double Circlet and Ring of Protection. Of course, the Dust of Appearance necessary when you face Blade Master. And Lim with the Wind Walk walks away now. A Happy, of course, changing direction. Now Happy's expecting the second hero to be creeping, so probably he will go on a lookout for it. He's gonna scout the gold mine as well. Making sure Lin is not expanding. No. But Happy know that Lin's gone into tier 3. I'm pretty sure he's those two known each other so well. And snare upgrade for Lin. Happy with the Lich King second. Bringing up more ghouls. Slaughterhouse almost coming. He's going into tier 3 as well. Now those acolytes are nicely walled off behind the ziggurats and the graveyard. And if you want to know more about this, by the way, go and watch Grubby's base layouts. And he will explain why you want the graveyard really next to one side of the trees, not ziggurats on both sides of the trees because your Akala is going to end up stuck completely. And if your opponent buys a Zeppelin, drops down here, that's all your Akala is de dead. And they can't escape and there's nothing you can do about it either. Anyway, Lin's creeping on Happy's natural gold mine, by the way. So he's stealing this away. 
happy sort of a... I guess he's looking for Lin. Can't find him. Okay, Lin with a mantle of intelligence. Great, great healing potion. And Blade Master level 3. Now Shadow Hunter's level 2. Nuke on the Shadow Hunter and Frost Nova Coil. Speed scroll activated. Heal wave jumping up between the Blade Master and the rest of the Orc units and the Shadow Hunter, of course. Lin running away here. Pulling on the laboratory camp now. And let's see what item Lin is going to get here. Snare on the Enraged Wildkin surrounds him. Perfect, that's the Lion Horn. It's the Lion Horn for Lin. Now he's taking on his natural gold mine. Drops the Lion Horn. Gives it to the Shadow Hunter. Oh my god. Look at Shadow Star. <laughs> he certainly doesn't need that heavy wind walk, of course. He's doing a mercenary camp. Couldn't detect Lin here. Is Lin gonna steal this? No. Nope. Uh, he's gonna steal this though. Yeah! Lin makes the kill and walks away. Happy with Dark Ranger, two statues, and loads of ghouls making his way forward. Lin with a TC as a third hero, of course. Now the Code of Beast are arriving as well. There's still one raider. And here we go now. Headhunters on the way. War drum upgrade in the beast tree. Happy is here, targeting the shop. Fortified defenses on the burrows. Peons are buried inside. And they're gonna assist with the defense here. The Lin loses the shop. That's okay. He's targeting the burrow though. But Lin defend nicely here. Didn't really put too much effort into it, but still managed to defend. Happy doesn't have enough yet to do anything more significant. And he will respect Lin enough to just walk away from this situation. Now Lin goes back. Not really bothered that much. Taking on the orange camp. On to the east side. Blade Master took a lot of beating here. Orb of Lightning on the Blade Master, by the way. Potion of Greater Healing is transferred onto the TPC. Oh, he's actually got two. One on each heroes. There's more headhunters arriving for Lin. Happy comes back now. Happy comes back. Lin is not here. Lin's gonna have to come and defend. There's one burrow down. Shock being rebuilt here at the back. And the burrow as well at the back. So. Nice reactions by Link, quick enough. He comes here, Happy takes down a Raider with a coil. Nice stomp here from the TC. Happy's kind of targeting the Blade Master. Heal potion used. Oh, and his Blade Master is a menace. Color Beast, by the way, has swallowed the ghoul. The other one's not eaten yet. Oh, that's another stomp by the TC. Speed scrolls activated. Both players find find some kills in this fight, and I'll say actually Lin Lin finds more kills in comparison here, uh, because Happy had way bigger army, but not a lot of those ghouls are standing. Understandable, of course, it's harder to keep ghouls alive. Um. But nonetheless, both players, absolutely sick. We don't even have to discuss that. Two of the best micros in the world. The best two micros in the world, the probably, alongside 1-0s to zeros as well. Uh, I don't think that anyone else can compare to these guys right now, currently. And that's just, it is the way it is. You can be upset about it. You can try and be biased about it. I'm not trying to be biased. For example, I don't like Undead at all. Not the biggest one to zero or happy fan for that matter but i appreciate what they're doing i appreciate their style i appreciate the skill and i love them for what they what they contribute you know and as a human being from what i've seen on interviews they've given they seem like very nice guys so i absolutely love both of them i'm just not a fan of them in terms of 
being like a favorite player of mine or whatnot. But I can't be biased against that. I mean, when you see Happy playing the way he plays in Monster Zero, how can you try and be biased? You just can't. You can't. That's a lot of uh, healing wards from Happy, by the way. I believe he used all three of them now. Yeah, DK with Ring of Regen, which is really good. Lich King's got the Invo Potion, Orb of Corruption. Dark Range has got nothing on her, though. And this Call of Beast ate a ghoul. Link kills the statue as well. This Play Master. So much damage. It's another destroyer loss. Happy's got pretty much nothing left but the heroes in him. Okay, first snowball on the radar. Another kill. And now he's out of mana and he's gonna have to run. And this Kodo's surviving. One of the Kodo devoured one ghoul for sure. And there it is. Lin with the Windwalk on the Blade Master. More raiders for Lin. And Lin seems quite happy to continue betting on the raiders. So far it's been working for him. He's... He's gained control over the map, I'll be honest. Um, most of the big camps he's taken already. Hence why he's got so many strong items on him. And now he's taking on the big red camp, the Granite Golem level 9. On the east side again. He's gonna surround him, of course. Big plat from the granite golem, though. And now the blade master is here. Oopsie daisy. He allowed the golem to slip away, but only temporarily. And that's the medallion of courage, I believe. Yep, there it is. And as I said, Lin with big presence on the map. Now the hat hunters are berserkers now. Lenny continues to spam more. There's still armor upgrades on the making, the of course, as well. More attack. touches for Happy, more ghouls. Now Happy can see that the Granite Golem has been taken by Lin. But he's gonna finish off the Dire Forest Wolves nonetheless. And now Lich King's level 3 as well. Still got that Invo Potion, by the way, on him. That's very good for him. Uh, Invo Potion on the Dark Ranger as well. Carry up a vitality on the DK, and that DK at level 4, already over 1000 health. Okay, buys scroll of healing, he's got the mana potion on him as well. Lin's gonna take on the other granite golem level 9, but Happy's gonna head this way. And uh, yep, that will not be so easy for Lin this time. I guess one good thing for him is that the granite golem is magic immune. So, Happy cannot steal it with him with the Frost over all coil. Nonetheless, will make his life eat harder. And Lin loses one of the Kodo Beasts straight away. The other one is safe for now. Happy trying to kill him, but he's still surviving. A big stomp here from the TC. That's another heal away from the Shadow Hunter. Happy uses the dust and he sees the Blade Master. Lin is targeting those statues and the destroyers as well. Oof. And I don't understand here, of course, Happy knows what he's doing better than anyone, but... I believe he should have gone for Fiends a long time ago. And for some reason, he doesn't do it. Double creep. If he can, it's still not too late, but he just doesn't do it. He can see all oh, this Blade Master barely surviving here. Barely making it out after that coil from the DK. But making it out, he does indeed. Now Lin is retreating. Happy is still the aggressor, which is weird. Um. Well, I guess Lin just want to buy some extra time just to recover the Blade Master, of course, because he's in no shape uh, for fighting right now. But as soon as he can recover that Blade Your Master a little bit at time. least. Okay, buys the Scroll of Healing. Mana Potion on the Shadow Hunter. The Medallion of Courage has been transferred onto the TC. 
happy just grab this little bandit green camp Lin is taking this little green camp okay picks mantle of intelligence there's the giant skeleton warrior left uh, Lin takes care of him and Lin seems to be fully going into berserkers and I believe that's the way to go for him they are a bit squishier, easier to kill for Happy. But the damage is insane. And once they lock someone in target, it's ridiculous. Oh, TC level 4 now. Big stomp from him again. The Berserk has been called upon. Here are the Raiders and the Kodo Beast. Playmaster is detected. He needs to avoid this for at least a few more seconds. There's one more dust bag on Happy who bought a scroll of healing now in the potion on the DK as well. And he uses the dust again. He wants to know at all times where the Blade Master is. He wants to be able to see him. And he buys another bag. That's the uh, scroll of heal. In the potion on the Lich King still there. And the Dark Ranger and the DK who continues to use this. This dust of appearance bags. And Link continues to take care of the statues first before anything else really. If he can. All the ghouls are gone for Happy again. That was the last one. No, actually there are two more. My bad. There were two more now. And Snare on the DK. Stomp. Oh, this Death Knight. Oh, this Death Knight. Another and Snare consumes Invo Potion. Now the Blade Master buys Invo Potion. This Blade Master will truly survive a lot and yep happy realizes this was over this was a lost cause for him gg lin is victorious thank you for watching this with me guys you know i love you all and i'm gonna catch you on the next one